Hey what that, this is a response to your video, which was actually a response to the Modern Mystics video about memes. I apologise for hijacking it, but I quite like memes, so I thought I'd defend them. I hope that's okay. Uh, your video is quite interesting, you made a few interesting points. Uh, I think the thrust of what you were saying, correct me if I'm wrong, is that um, in biological evolution, we can clearly see factors that will um, influence the fitness of a given individual in a given environment. If we have a chimp, for example, its ability to be born without difficulty, to hunt successfully, to avoid predators where appropriate, its ability to climb the social ladder, to find a mate, to reproduce, and to raise its infant to a level of maturity, um, are all important factors um, in governing the genetic success of that chimp. But when it comes to memes, things are a lot more ambiguous and a lot less clear cut. But that doesn't mean to say that there aren't any selection pressures. The first one that I want to identify um, is slightly distinctive from, from the other things I'm going to go on to talk about. It's biology itself. There are certain memes which spread because that we're more biologically predisposed towards them and towards spreading them. Quintessential example of this is pornography. Now, it's no wonder that this has spread and you, you, we can obviously see why it has spread because of its appeal to biological drives. Um, but I don't want to say that um, it's all one way. I think that in our evolutionary past, um, memes and genes uh, worked in a co-evolution to produce the complexity of the big brain and the explosion in language but that's a different video i also think it's um, important for us not to reduce everything to a biological explanation because that's completely reductionist and it's adaptionist as well and that uh, that's not the way to go at all so you know what are the, if we want to understand this a little more, we have to understand why non-beneficial biological memes will adapt. And in that sense, I, I propose um, we consider things a bit like an ecosystem. Now, you actually made an interesting video, which I feel is very, very relevant to what I'm about to say. Um, in one of your evolution videos, um, you talked about how we often perceive the individual as trying to maximize this this certain fitness value isolated from its environment whereas it's the individuals together um, which are all trying to maximize their uh, fitness which actually constitutes the environment that is the environment so any change that I have on uh, if I change uh, a certain trait of mine it will influence the ecosystem and the ecosystem will therefore influence further traits so I think the, the dynamic view that you put forward um, is, is a really good way to look at these things and I think the same can be said um, with memes. Now I like to think of um, meme ecosystems so to speak in as two different types. We've got the intrapersonal meme ecosystem which is this one here and the inter -meme, uh, interpersonal meme ecosystem which is the world at large. Now, in the intrapersonal meme ecosystem, um, which is also um, cognitive schemata, or perhaps a, a memeplex. Now, the, there is also a selection pressure up here, because you can only think about a certain amount of topics or memes at any one time, and the memes that you'll be thinking about will be um, memes that will be related to other ones semantically, There'll also be things on your mind um, at the time. They'll be influenced by your environment, of course. Now, also, um, memes help. There's sort of three things that can happen, really. I know I'm drawing up false boundaries where no boundaries exist, but in the extreme examples, there's sort of three things that can happen. A new meme enters your memeplex. Okay? It's not really semantically linked to anything else. It's not very distinctive. You'll probably most likely forget it, never think about it, and then you won't be able to go on and speak it and reproduce it. So that's not very successful. Then there's a meme that comes in, and let's take, for example, in myself, the, the meme meme. Right? That meme came in, and it 
reinforced and was reinforced by other memes in my cognitive schemata. That is um, my artificial intelligence um, sort of background uh, means that I, I became a universal Darwinianist because I, I could see the power of uh, evolution. Um, my, I like Dennett and obviously that uh, I like his works and obviously that was another piece and then of course I kind of like the idea that we don't know as much as we think we know. So all those memes sort of support each other in a, I'd like to think it was a consistent framework. So the third case of what could happen is um, the meme itself, and this, this may answer your question about why we have radical paradigm shifts. Um, you know, introducing a new species into a foreign environment, sometimes the new species can completely trash the ecosystem. I mean, we've observed it in biology. The same can be said of thought. If a thought contradicts many other thoughts in that person's memeplex, but it is very powerful for aesthetic reasons, for functional reasons, um, or whatever, then it can completely destroy the other memes. Um, so, finally then, how, how does it get out here? Well, things that will be spread more will be those that are more culturally uh, relative or more likely to be expressed. So that depends on what's going through most people's memeplexes at that time. Um, finally as well, um, the idea of a meme fountain. Um, that is, you, you mentioned certain celebrities, uh, movie stars, whatever, academics, uh, scientists, people who have um, a large influence. Um, not only have a large influence in terms of how many people that they can spread their meme to, but also um, how likely their memes are to be taken and expressed. Um, so meme fountains can actually dish out a lot of bad memes, but I think it's been biologically advantageous for us in the past to listen to people of higher status. Um, I think that's all I'm going to say on this for the moment, but um, I do propose to make a memetic um, algorithm, which I will let you know how it goes. Thanks. Peace.